everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomo's Biology. This video is all about answering your queries. I'm getting these queries all the time that uh, whether you're eligible or not. Who is eligible for CA Senate examination? Are you eligible or not? Let's find it out whether you're eligible or not. All the important questions are written in here, so I'm going to answer one of them at a time. Male, 28 years old. So if you're a male at 28 years old, are you eligible? Yes, but this is your last attempt. Yes, so get a good attempt at this time because if you are of a general category this is your last attempt after that you will not get a second attempt so last time and your year or 28 year of age will be calculated uh, from your birth till uh, the form notification date okay so remember to count this properly and get this date in the notification they all clearly mention the date till which your birth from the birth till which date they will consider as your age limit okay next one female 20 years old yes you are eligible no big deal you are eligible no issues and you still have some years to spare bsc third year student are you eligible or not there are plenty of bsc students who had a, a wrong idea that they are not eligible actually from third year onwards you are eligible but the thing is uh, you will be result evited category you don't have any sorts of results so from bsc third year onwards you are eligible but it's better to start from msc first semester Next one is MSc first semester students, are they eligible? Yes, you are eligible and it's a good time to start uh, your preparation. So, keep this in your mind. BSc first year, no, you are not eligible. No, you are not eligible from the BSc first year because the CSRNET fellowship, the JRF fellowship will be valid for two years only. And uh, obviously, if you qualify in BSc first year, uh, that's a very good thing if you qualify, but you will not be eligible to continue that fellowship. Right. Next one is male 30 years of age. Uh, no, not eligible for a general category, not eligible. Remember that for SCST category, you are eligible, but not for the general category for female 34 years old, females more than 33 years old, also not eligible. So females are eligible for 33 years only uh, SCST category, also 33 years only, but male are having males are eligible till 28 years okay. only so this uh, eligibility criteria is set and this is the eligibility criteria that we follow uh, throughout right for the eligibility for the males to qualify the eligibility for the females to qualify and the eligibility for SCST category to qualify OBC also belong to that similar uh, set of category than general but SCST gets the extra added advantage and benefit females get extra added advantage uh, SCST category students get the extra advantage and uh, males, uh, I mean, uh, SCS to OBC categories get the extra advantage. And uh, lastly, what we have are this BSc and MSc candidates. From BSc third year onwards, uh, you are eligible to apply for the exam. MSc first semester, from MSc, you are obviously eligible. But for BSc third year and MSc first or second semester, you are not eligible for LS or lectureship. You are eligible for JRF but not uh, for the LS. Uh, for LS or lectureship, you need to have a clear uh, idea of, uh, you need to have a clear uh, completion of your subject. For JRF, you don't need a completion. For LS, you need a completion of that subject or uh, that particular degree. So, you need to have MSc degree completed in order to apply for LS. But for JRF, you don't need LS, uh, uh, the MSc certificate to be completed. So, JRF can be applied with the result avitated category let me write it down it is it can be applied for ra a result avitated category ls cannot be applied with result avitated category ls can only be applied uh, for the completion of the degree so after msc you will be eligible to apply for ls keep that in your mind okay so in the form you have ls only you have ls and grf or grf only you need to select that based on your requirement don't get greedy there because even if you select if it's not in the rule, you will not be allowed to get that. Okay. So that's all about eligibility criteria for CSI and life science examination. I believe it's clear to you. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that. Hope all your confusions are clear. Thank you. Bye.